On today's episode, let's take a look at private browsing in Safari. It is really as private, as secret as you think? Can you play online games without your boss knowing about it? Can you search for a present without anyone finding out? Let me explain you how it really works. So the way to activate private browsing is to open Safari and go to Edit menu. Here you can select Open new private window, or you can also do it with shortcut Shift Command N. Once you select it, you will get this little warning here, and it basically tells you what exactly private browsing is going to do. It is not going to remember the pages you visit. There will be no search history, and also it will not remember any autofill information any passwords, emails, and so on. When you open private browsing, it will always be a new window, but it works as a normal window. Press Command T to add a new tab, and you can search immediately. Good thing is that you can still keep a window open with a regular browsing mode, so you can have them both side by side if you want. So what does private browsing really do? Let's talk about it a bit. Most people don't understand it, and it actually doesn't do very much. If you are looking for a way to privately browse the internet, for example at your work, and you don't want your boss to find out what you are doing while you should be working, I would not recommend this at all. Even if you use private browsing, the company will still be able to track you through their servers. There is still a footprint left if you log into sites like Google, Facebook, YouTube, etc. These services will remember what you are doing there, because you are logged into these accounts online. Private browsing is just about your local history, stuff which is stored on the hard drive of your computer. All of this will not be recorded, but you can't hide anything online. So what good it is then? Well, it is good for the other reason I mentioned in the beginning. To be hiding your browsing history from somebody that you share a computer with. For example, if you are shopping for a gift or planning a surprise party, it can come in handy. I am sure that a lot of parties and surprise gifts has been spoiled by people simply looking at search history in the browser. It can also be very useful if you are not using your own computer, if you are using a public computer or borrowing it from your friend. In this case it's good to use private browsing mode, because you will not be adding your search history, any of your autofill information into theirs data. The reason doesn't need to be to hide something from them, but maybe you just don't want to mess up their work with your work. Another advantage of private mode is that it doesn't store cookies. So it is very useful for example if you want to log in into separate account, let's say Google accounts or Facebook or something like that. You can easily do it without logging out from your account on your regular browsing mode. And once you finish in private mode, you log out and the cookies should be reset so it will not remember any logging information, so you can log out to another account without any problems. Also, if you use the iCloud feature, where it shares your history between devices, so you can see what tabs are open on your Mac while you are looking at it on your iPad. Private browsing will actually turn that off temporarily. Imagine that you are shopping for gifts for somebody and they are on the iPad in the next room. Using private window, they won't be able to see what page you are looking at on your Mac. Now let's see another example from the other side. What if you are not using private browsing mode at all, and you decided that maybe you should have been? Well, it is easy to cover your tracks here, because all you need to do is to go to history, show all history, and here you can see all your previously visited pages, and you can actually clear this easily if you press the clear button in the top right corner. You can delete the history from just an hour, all day in, or include yesterday as well. And of course, you can clear all your history. So private browsing is not something the typical user needs to use at all. If you are using one Mac for multiple people, everybody should have their own user account, so you really don't need private browsing either. Plus it doesn't protect you from your employee knowing what you are doing. It is kind of a special tool which I don't use very often, but it is good to know that it's there in case you will ever need it. Now I believe you understand private browsing a lot more, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and share it with your friends. Here is Luke, 
and I want to see you in the next video.